Because what I usually wind up doing is having a room for each, like, thing. I'll have an aquarium room and a food room. And I usually have, like, an actual, like, bedroom. Um, just because I, li I like spacing my stuff out like that. Um, there's no real wrong way to set up your stuff. Um, it's just, you know, easier for me, at least, when everything's in its own spaces. Like, um... I'll have a, a generator room, a power room, and of course there's the moon pool. So I just try to compartmentalize my stuff so I don't lose anything. Shut up, stalker. Oh, this is the exterior grow bed that I had planted earlier. Uh, these look, these work really good too for like cheap lighting. So you can put these all around your base and use these to, like, light your area. that planted. That'll grow up. Uh, now we need to move over my construction parts. Um, my constructors, you know, the battery charger and everything else. Uh, we'll bring over the uh, solar panel as well just to make sure we always have power. Because uh, if your base runs out of power, you run out of air. Um, <coughs> Air is kind of important. I'm going towards the wrong icon. Alright, I should have enough space for... Alright, that's everything. Cool. That took twice as long as I expected it to, but... Oh, I can also build a radio in my base, too, so I don't ever have to go back to the life pod. Um, but I don't really think I want to, um, purely because I could do that, actually. Maybe I will. I don't know. I haven't before, so I don't know if it does extra stuff, the one you build. Maybe, I don't know. I'm curious. Alright, so what we'll do here is on this wall we will build our fabricator. Kind of right in the middle. Uh, then we... See, here's the radio. Then we will build our battery charger on this wall here. Just so we remember it. And I think everything else was just... Oh, I can build a radio. Alright, um... That's right, I built one of those. How's my power? My power is actually really good right now, so maybe I should just build the radio and call it. Yeah, I'll just build a radio. Fuck it. There's my radio. Cool, I just got a bunch of radio signals. Alright, so what we're going to do is swap that battery out. We're going to pop that in there. Find an empty ish that goes in there. I'm gonna dump that all in there. Okay. Alright, now that that's sorted, let's see if these have grown up at all. Yeah, here they there they go. Alright, cool, cool, cool. One, two, three, four, five. I got the laser cutter, I got the rebreather. Looks like we're Sitting pretty. Might as well check the radio now. Oh boy. Aurora, we're approaching yep. the planet now. We have a landing site. For I called it. Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. Should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather. <coughs> Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. So I have literally 40 minutes 
uh, to go somewhere not far away. Uh, at least from where I am. Uh, where they land is on the other land mass, uh, which is over there. Which you, which, uh, you could see normally if that cloud wasn't in the way, just like the other island. Which you can see that cloud deformation there, that's, that's there just so you can't see it. Because, uh, <clears throat> the original version of this game didn't have any islands, they added those later. Um, for, I guess, story reasons, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with a survival game that has a story. Uh, it just means you can take your time. Alright, let's collect some food real quick. Come here, come here. Alright, uh, let's find some bladder fish, get some water. Get some water. Get some water. Ah, bladder fish, here we go. <clears throat> Eventually we'll be able to construct a... Um... What's it called? A uh, yeah, water purifier. It generates, uh, basically desalinates lot the water. So you can drink aboard, the regular water, which is good, you know. One thing I don't know if I've pointed out, but you may, observant people may have noticed, that every time you do something, uh, it generates or takes power from your maximum power. So every time you cook something or, or power something up or whatnot, it takes energy from your core bank. Uh, from your base, so just keep that in mind if you're playing this on your own. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see here. We got yeah. Let's uh. uh does this take a battery? It does. Okay, we're gonna pop that out. We're gonna just charge up all my batteries before we go out on this adventure. <laughs> uh, let's see if these have grown up anymore. Cause these grow super fast. Yeah, these things grow super fast. Yeah, growing, growing. All right. I guess in the meantime, I will check to see, because there's the moon pool, which, that's it? Holy crap, I can build a moon pool while we wait for my batteries to charge. Alright. Yeah, we're going to build ourselves a moon pool. Um, Alright, we're going to get some scrap, then we're going to get some stuff to make some lube. We've got lead out the butt, so I'm not too worried about that. Oh, I don't know why I pulled that out. There's no power source in it. God, you guys are gross. Gastopod, I think they're called? They're super gross. I hate them. Alright, and scanning this will give me... God, I took the battery out of it. Where was this earlier when I was looking for beacon fragments? Oh, look at all the beacon fragments! Holy shit! Oh, oh my god. That's terrible. Oh boy. Metal salvage. Okay. I'll hover over this thing for a second. There we go. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Alright. Oh, I need two ingots. Oh, you cheeky fucker. Okay, so I need some lube. I may... I may have some lube already, because I think I made a bunch of lube, unless I used up all of my lube. I think I used up all of my lube. Alright. Luckily, though, I live near the kelp forest. Two lead. All right, I can build my ass a moon pool. <clears throat> cool. 
I didn't think I'd get a moon pool so quickly, but whatever. Alright, so. Moon pool. Oh, no, I wanted to. I wanted to rotate it. How? Oh. Okay, how do I. How do I rotate it? Mouse wheel don't do nothing. Is that going to snap to my base? So I want it to snap to my base. <laughs> yes! My bait hole is 5.5. .5. Hopefully I don't start having structural problems. Because that is a thing in this. Uh, that your base can eventually start collapsing. If you b start building on without reinforcing things. So there are like reinforcement panels you can put on the walls and whatnot. So this is the moon pool. Uh, it does allow access to outside. Um, yes, and you can use it. Without human contact, it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. Yeah, uh, I buy that. How about my batteries? My batteries are almost done. Fantastic. So 30 minutes. But the cool thing about the moon pool uh, is that it lets you charge your sea moth and your uh, prana suit. You just pull up in here. And there you go. And there we are. And you can do your upgrades. And eventually you can build a thing that allows you to... Uh... Oh, that reminds me. I should see if I have the thing. I have the th oh, the modification station. I don't have the, I don't have all the parts of the mod station. I don't have magnetite yet either. I'm not, I haven't gone deep enough for that yet. Uh, well, it's part of the game. Maybe I should just cheat and use those parts I found. Hmm. These parts, this death module, and the. Hmm. No, I'm not going to cheat. We're, we're going to do this legit. Okay, okay. So, that was... I didn't expect to be able to just build this that like that. So, oh, see the power ticking down? That's because it's charging my sea moth. Um, and because it's night, it's not going back up. So, you can actually drain... Um, so you can see it right there, energy charging. You can actually drain your um, entire base by hooking up your sea moth, and then just ruining uh, your chances of uh, breathing, which uh, sucks. <laughs>